In this school spider tutorial, I'd like to show you how the parents area of the website works and also how the app works. So this on the right hand side is the, the school's website and this on the left hand side is the app. Now the app you can download from your app store onto any Apple device and any Samsung device and the school will give you a login detail so parent login details which you can use to log into either the app or the school website. So this is the app on the, on the left hand side here. So all I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to scroll down and find the school that my child goes to. So in this case, this is Oakwood School. So there we found Oakwood. So I'm just going to click on that and continue. So what we can see as, as a parent, if we've just downloaded the app and we haven't got a login, is the latest news, the latest gallery, the latest blog and the latest events. So if I just click into latest news, we can see there we've got the school disco report, some pictures there. Here's the rest of the news items. Just click on gallery. We've got the galleries there. So they're all in a list with the pictures. We can see the pictures there as well. And then if we just go back and back onto the blogs, we're able to see any blogs, parking outside school, year five this week. Also, we're able to see the calendar, so what's going on in school. And we're also able to see, receive messages. Now, if we actually log in as a parent, so if we go back to the home page and log in as a parent, so this is where your username and your password go, and then log in. Gives you the option there to edit your account. So if you want to put a, an email in, secondary email, mobile number, if you want to change your passwords, etc. You can do that all there. But once you've actually logged in as a parent, it enables the school to communicate with you with regards to any surveys that they need you to answer, any parents' evenings, and also you can view messages there, forums, and you can go back to the dashboard. So that's just the first part of the app. Here on the right hand side, I'm just going to log into the website. So if you were doing this from your computer, your desktop, your laptop at home or even at work, parent login, it's exactly the same login as what you used for your app. And what this allows you to see is um, the parent side of it. So any surveys and forms that you need to answer, any parents evenings that you need to book yourself a slot on. You can review the pupils' attainments and reports here. So they'd be downloaded and you'd be able to view them there. You can view any activity that your pupil is actually doing in the VLE area. So any homework, we can see here we've got some homework that's been completed. Joe went to Ibiza, he's uploaded a map. Um, homework discussions, so again, got a discussion here that Joe's put his favourite PE activity, any school blogs and uh, the people scrapbook as well so the pupils can make a scrapbook in the pupil area and you can see what they're putting in that scrapbook and also you can see what pupil awards have been given here. Okay. So first of all the pupil awards, I'm just going to nip back to the admin area as a teacher and I'm just going to pick on uh, Joe's record here and all I'm going to do is just going to go in and uh, attach a pupil award. Okay so on the parent side once that pupil award's been attached to, to Joe you can view and you can see there he's been given a, an excellent attendance award and when it's been received. You'll also receive a message from School Spider, which you can view on the app. So this is a message just to tell you Joe Dobson has received an excellent attendance award. So that's where you can see the awards. 
So back to the website and also the app. You can pick up surveys and forms here for your child. So as a school, I can go in uh, as a teacher and I can set a survey. So this one at the moment hasn't been finalised, so all I'm going to do is just finalise that form. Again, you receive a message on the app. And if you view that message, this is a notification to inform you that there is a new survey form to fill out. Now you can either do that on the app, which you can pick up here. So it's the school trip one. So that's how you, how you view it on the app. You can also pick it up in the surveys and forms area, which is here. And this is on the website side. So again, you know, same thing. This is the, the school sur survey form that, that's been sent out by the school. And it's asking you, can your child attend the school trip to Chester Zoo? You answer yes or no. What flavour sandwich would your child prefer? So cheese, tuna, ham, chicken. So you can either answer these questions on the app or you can answer them on the website. So I'm just going to answer them on the website. Yes, I'd like my child to go to Chester Zoo and they'd like a tuna sandwich. And send your form back to the teacher and then it'll just ask you to complete the form. That's gone back to the teacher for them to view in school. So just gone back to the home page on the app there. And that's your that's how easy and simple it is for you to, to you know answer any questions that the, the school needs you to answer quickly, either on the website or on the app. Now again, you can pick up parents' evenings here. So I'm just going to go back to being a teacher, and all I'm going to do is parents' evening I got set up here. I'm just going to go back into that and publish it for parents. And then again, on the app, you'll receive, receive a message, which is a push notification to say that you've got a parent's evening there. Notification to inform you that there's a new parent's evening for your child. On the app, you can put your parent's evenings up here. And in the website, you can put your parent's evenings up here. Exactly the same. So they show exactly the same things. So you can either book your slot really quickly on the app or you can book your slot really quickly on the website. So I'll do it on the app this time. So let's scroll down. We'll book a time for 9.36. That's booked. All I need to do now is um, go into school for my appointment at 9.36 to see the teacher. So back to home, back to home on the website. So again, we can pick up surveys and forms. We can pick up parents' evenings, we can pick up attainments and reports, view VLE activity, and we can see the pupils awards. And this is all on the website side, the, pa the parents area, the website side. And the app here, if we're not logged in as a parent, we can see the latest news, gallery, blogs, events. And if we are logged in as a parent, then we can also pick up the surveys and forms, the same surveys and forms that you can receive on the website and the same parents' evenings that you can receive on the website. You also get notifications, so push notifications or smart messages with regards to any surveys that have been issued, any parents' evenings that have been issued, any pupils' awards that have been issued. Issued. School can also contact you if you are logged into the app with smart messages. So rather than sending you a text message, they'll be able to send you a smart message uh, and communicate with you so for, for anything related to your pupil. And that's the app, parent side of the app and the parent side of the website.